This is my review of the Braun All-in-One Trimmer, model MGK3220. Is it worth it? So hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For years I've been using the Philips One Blade razor to shave and I accidentally dropped it one day and I broke the blade so I was going to go get a replacement and while I was in Target I noticed this was actually cheaper than the cartridges I was going to buy so I figured I'd give it a try couldn't hurt I got it home and let's take a look at the box Braun on one trimmer three six in one styling kit professional Blade technology, easy, fast, precise. It sounded good. I like the attachments, especially the one for nose and ears. Professional blade technology. Washable, but it does not say that you can bring it in the shower, so I wouldn't do that. Double contour edging, short beards, hair clipping, long beards, and of course the ear nose trimmer. Of course it comes with a manual. Let's take a look at some of these attachments. It's the number one attachment. This is for extra long beards. There's the power cord. The number two attachment. Little brush. And the actual razor itself. It's nice and solid, has a nice weight to it. So far, so good. The attachments are easy to get on and off. Let's see how this thing works. There we go. Alright. I think I'm ready to test this thing out, but first I had to start growing a beard. That's really hard for me. And I've been growing my ears and nose hairs out for the longest time, so I've been preparing for this, but let's see how long it takes for me to get a beard. 27,000 days later. Okay, I'm back. You can see it's barely thicker than it was. It was actually probably a week and a half, but I got tired of waiting. Here's the nose attachment. Didn't hurt, it just felt weird. And here's what just came out of my nose, if you can believe that. No, I'm kidding. Let's test out the ear. No pain at all. That's good, because I'm always getting ear hair is plucked out and it hurts so this is the number two attachment you can see that that's for stubble pretty much if you want to have some stubble I was just testing out the different lengths did a really good job of cutting really impressed especially considering the price and I did speed it up because trust me you don't want to watch 10 hours of this I could have slowed it down and the video could have been like 50 minutes long but no I wouldn't do that to you it definitely does a good job really easy to swap out the attachments they just pop on and off 
Here's number one attachment if you want even uh, less stubble showing, but just a little bit. And now it's time to tackle this goatee of mine. Set it to level three. See how much it would take off. And that was just about perfect for what I wanted. I'll never be able to grow a long beard. I've already given up. I'm just not manly enough, I guess. I can't remember the last time I didn't have a goatee or a beard. It's not a pretty sight. I'm really liking this thing. I just wish I could take it in the shower, but it actually uh, says you shouldn't do that after I read the manual a little more. And without any attachments at all, I wanted to see how much it would take down. Here it's still cutting some. That's good. And I can say that even after using no attachment, I could still feel stubble. It's kind of hard to see, but I can still feel it. And time to clean it off. <laughs> Just for fun, I wanted to see if it would hurt my nipples, and it didn't hurt. And that's the final product. I would highly recommend this thing for it only being 25 bucks. I think it's a really good deal. Has a lot of attachments that are handy. It's well built. So I'm glad I picked this thing up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.